Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Gini Guide. In today's guide video, we are going to learn how we can use the Binance Cryptocurrency application as a complete beginner. We are going to discuss some of the most important features such as using Binance to buy and sell cryptocurrency, to verify our account or identity as well as to withdraw and deposit money in the Binance account. But before we get started, if you are new to our channel, then do make sure to leave a like and subscribe and also make sure you turn on the bell notifications and without any further Ado, let us get started with today's tutorial. Before we get started with the tutorial, if you don't know what Binance application is, then Binance is a cryptocurrency exchange platform which is one of the largest exchanges in the world in terms of daily trading volume of cryptocurrencies. So if you want to learn how to trade on crypto, buy and sell Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies, then you want to make sure to simply watch this video till the end. So the first thing we want to make sure is that make sure we have actually downloaded and installed the Binance application on our phone. If you have not yet downloaded this application, what you want to do is simply open your app store. If you are on your iOS, then open your Android Google Play Store. If you are on your Android, depending on whichever app stores you have at the top of the screen, you will be able to find the search box. You want to simply tap on the search box and then type in Binance. Once you type in Binance, you can see the first application which comes up on the list. It's called Binance, Bitcoin and Crypto. So make sure you go ahead and download it. If you are on your Android, then you are going to see a green install button to download. If you are on your iOS, then you are going to see a cloud like icon to go ahead and download the application. So once we have downloaded the Binance cryptocurrency application, what we want to do is we want to simply open the application right over here. Now as you can see over here, it says to sign up or login and if you don't have an account, then first of all, you want to make sure that you're actually signed up to your Binance account. If you don't know how to create an account on Binance, then you want to make sure to watch our other video where we show you how you can create an account on Binance for absolutely free. But assuming that we already do have an account, what we want to do is simply tap on the sign up or login button right over here. Once you tap on login button, you want to wait for this application to load up. So if you don't have an account at the bottom of the screen, you will find an option called register now. You want to simply go ahead and tap on register now and you can choose to sign up with your phone number or email. You will need either one of those to sign up or create an account on Binance. Or if you don't, then you can also continue with your Apple ID as well as your Google ID. But as in my case, we already do have an account. So I'm going to simply go back and then log into my Binance account. Once you enter your email address and your password, what you want to do is you want to simply tap on login on the yellow button right over here and it may ask you to verify with a security code on your email or your phone number. So once you log into your Binance app or your Binance account, you can see that this is how the home interface of this application looks like. Over here, you will be able to see many market trades because this is currently in the live version as we are on the live version of the Binance over here. So if you want to switch to the pro version, what you want to do is on the top left hand side, you will be able to see this profile icon. You want to simply tap on the profile icon. As you tap on your profile icon here, you can see that we are currently on the Binance Lite version and here you will be able to see many multiple options which we will get to later. In terms of trading and so on, what you want to do is you want to go back and switch to the pro version right over here. Once you tap on that yellow button, you will have successfully switched to the pro version and you will be able to trade cryptocurrency buy or sell. But for the normal basic interview, we are going to simply go back to the Lite version in order to get friendly with the navigation of the Binance application. So the first thing before doing anything on Binance is that first of all, you want to make sure that you have verified your Binance account. In my case, I have already verified my Binance account by filling in the KYC or know your customer form. So first of all, let us get started with the verification process. So in order to verify our Binance account, as you open the application here, you will find an option called complete account. You want to simply go ahead and tap on the verify account option. So go ahead and tap on the yellow button which says verify account. 
Once you tap on it, it will take you to a new page where you will have to fill your personal verification depending on your legal name and address. So tap on start now at the bottom of the screen. As you tap on start now here, it will ask you to fill your personal information. Make sure you fill in everything according to certificate and go ahead and tap on continue again at the bottom of the screen right over here. As you tap on continue, you must also enter your date of birth everything correctly according to the legal certificate and then again at the bottom go ahead and click or tap on the continue button once you tap on the continue button here it will ask for identity verification so go ahead and choose any document which you want to upload once you select any document you need to make sure you have the document in your hand and go ahead and tap continue and then you need to make sure you have the document within your hands and then go ahead and open now click on the add button on the front side of the document and scan the front side of your document first make sure everything is clear and visible make sure that everything is clear and visible and once you do that at the bottom click on the round white button of the screen and once you have verified the front side of the document, you also want to verify the second side of the document. In order to do that, you want to simply tap on OK and then again tap on Add on the next screen which pops up. You want to go ahead and tap on Add and then take photo and then upload the second side or the back side of your document right over here. So as you can see we have successfully uploaded both of our front side as well as our back side of the document. What you want to do is tap on OK at the bottom right hand side of the screen. Once you tap on OK it will take you to the next page and then tap on continue again. Once you tap on continue now it will ask you to take a selfie so go ahead and tap on take a selfie at the bottom of the screen. This is done to verify your face with the live selfie over here. So make sure the person in the document as well as the person taking the selfie is the same person or else the verification process is going to fail. Once you tap on take a selfie go ahead and tap on use photo at the bottom of the screen. Once you tap on use photo now you have successfully taken a selfie. The next step is to simply verify using a live face authentication. At the bottom you can read the terms and conditions and tap on the yellow button again now verify your face ID with whatever it says you want to turn around make sure everything is visible make sure you're not using spectacles or anything or not carrying any type of mask and so on on your face once you do that and once the face verification is successful it is going to take some time and the verification will be completely successful if everything matches according to your document and the person in the document. So once you have made sure to verify your KYC form, you can see that this is the home interface of the Binance Lite application. The first thing what I'm going to show you is how we can deposit a fiat currency on Binance which could be a US dollars or cryptocurrency or any type of currency. To do that at the bottom right hand side of the screen we want to simply go and tap on this wallet icon. As you tap on the wallet icon, it will take you to this page. Now, in order to deposit a fiat currency, here on the left hand side, you will be able to see an option called deposit. So, you want to simply go ahead and tap on the deposit option right over here. As you tap on deposit here, it will show you which of the fiat currencies which you, you want to deposit. If you can't find them, you can also simply tap or search in the search box at the top of the screen. For example, let's say I want to search for euros right over here, then you can see the euros option is going to pop up or show up in this menu. So now, depending on whichever currency or fiat currency you choose, your option is going to show up over here the first option we have the bank transfer which is unfortunately available bank transfer is almost always the easy option but it is currently unavailable for this euros as you can see you also have the credit card option which is going to be instant but it is certainly always the most expensive one as you can see the 1.8 percent transaction fee so if you want to change the currency which has a bank transfer available for example let's say i want to change from euros to something else such as usd so as you can see, if I switch to USD, then I do have the bank transfer available with 0% fee right over here. So you can choose whichever third party methods or whichever methods you have. But in case of Binance, always the credit card option or the bank transfer option is always the best one. So in this way, you can really easily deposit fiat currency on your Binance application or on your Binance account. The next thing we are going to do is how we can deposit a cryptocurrency to our Binance account. To do that, we are simply going to go back 
So after you come back again and make sure you are on the wallet option as well, you want to simply go ahead and tap on deposit. But this time what we want to do is instead of tapping on fiat currency, we want to go ahead on the top right hand side. We want to go and select crypto. Now here you want to select what kind of cryptocurrency you want to deposit. For example, let us assume that I'm going to deposit the Bitcoin currency or the Bitcoin cryptocurrency. In the storage box, I'm going to simply type in Bitcoin. Once you type in Bitcoin, you can see the first list which comes up and here it will ask us to choose a network and copy address. You want to simply go ahead and tap on next at the bottom right hand side of the screen. And you can also initiate a withdrawal as well as a network confirmation. Once you do that, you can go ahead and tap on deposit now. So first of all, what you want to do is once you land on this page, so you can see here it is asking us to choose a network first. So you want to simply go ahead and you can see we have multiple networks available such as Bitcoin or BNB Bitcoin Chain or BNB Smart Chain or Ethereum or BTC. But for the purpose, I'm going to simply tap on Bitcoin right over here. And once you tap on Bitcoin, you can see the address is going to come up right over here. And you are going to see our Bitcoin deposit address right on our Binance account. So you want to make sure you send the Bitcoin deposit to this address right over here. Or you can also scan this image right over here. You can share this address at the bottom right hand side of the screen. And on the left hand side, you can also tap on save as image and it will be saved to your gallery or on your photos application. Make sure to send the right coins in the right address or if not, then you are going to lose your BTC coins. Now let us go back and learn how we can buy, sell as well as convert. So here once you land back on the page in order to buy or sell or convert on cryptocurrency on our Binance application. Here at the bottom of the screen, you want to simply tap on the side arrow icon right over here. So first of all, let us get ahead with how we can buy cryptocurrency. So you want to simply tap on the buy option right over here. Once you tap on buy, you can see it will ask us to choose a cryptocurrency which you want to buy. For the simplest purpose, I'm going to simply select BTC or Bitcoin right over here. Once you select your BTC, it will ask you to choose a currency which you want to use to buy your cryptocurrency. For example, you can say it is currently in USD. And if I want to change this to something else, then you can simply tap on this button or select Great British Pounds or so on. Or if not, then you can also choose a Bitcoin option right over here on the right hand side of the screen and you can also tap on it right back at it again. So let's say I want to buy 100 pounds worth of Bitcoin. So as you can see, I'm going to simply type on 100. And if you want to see this in the BTC, then you can see that right over here. So if you want to buy this, then at the bottom of the screen, you will be able to see the option called buy. You want to simply tap on buy right over here and multiple menus are going to pop up. Here it will ask you to either pay with your card or pay with your cash balance. Now the quickest and the simplest way is to simply pay with your cash balance right over here if you have some of the money deposited into your account. Or if not, then you can also choose a fiat currency by choosing to pay with card right over here. And once you do that, at the bottom right hand side of the screen, you want to go ahead and simply tap on this yellow button which says confirm and you can enter all of your details such as your first name, your last name, your card number, your expiration date and your CVV as well. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and tap on next at the bottom and as well as you can go ahead and also enter your billing address and so on. And in this way, you can really easily buy a cryptocurrency on this Binance application. Now let us say that we want to sell our cryptocurrency then what we want to do is on the top right hand side of the screen you will be able to find your sell icon right over here you want to simply tap on the sell button and you want to select how many currencies of bitcoin you want to sell or whichever cryptocurrency you want to sell for example let's say i want to select again 100 gbp right over here at the bottom of the screen, you will be able to see the option called sell. You want to simply tap on sell button right over here. But for that, you need to, of course, have a balance on your Binance account. Once you do that at the bottom of the screen, you can go ahead and tap on sell and you will be successfully able to sell your Bitcoin to others in the Binance application. So now we have learned how to buy and sell cryptocurrency on the Binance application. The next step we are going to learn is how we can withdraw fiat currency on our Binance application. To do that, at the bottom right hand side, you want to go to this wallet icon right over here. 
And if you have some currencies available in your balance, then you will be able to see the withdraw option right over here. As in my case, my point is currently 0.00, .00 so unfortunately, I'm not being able to see that option. But if you do have some cash balance draw in your Binance account, once you go over here, you will be able to see the withdraw account option. Then you will be able to withdraw your fiat currency and then enter your payment method on which you want to receive the money or the cash in. Once you do that, you will have successfully withdrawn your fiat currency on your Binance account or your Binance application similarly if you have some crypto balance available in your account then right over here you will also be able to see a withdraw cryptocurrency option if not then you will not be able to see it unfortunately in my case there isn't such option but in your case you will be able to see the withdraw option after you buy some kind of cryptocurrency on your Binance application so we have learned how to deposit fiat currency how to buy and sell on crypto as well as how to withdraw fiat currency and how to withdraw cryptocurrency on our Binance application the next thing we are going to learn is how we can trade on the Binance application. So to do that, we cannot do this in the light version of Binance. We will have to switch to the pro version of Binance. In order to do so, on the top left hand side, you will be able to see this profile icon. You want to simply tap on this profile icon and here you want to simply uncheck this option called Binance Lite right over here. So simply go ahead and tap on Binance Lite and switch back to the Binance Pro version. Once you tap on the Binance Pro, you can see this is how the interface of the Binance Pro application looks like. You have multiple data available here. So in order to learn how to trade at the bottom of the screen, you can see the option called trade in the middle. So you want to go ahead and simply tap on trade and here you will be able to see that this is the current interface of this trade option. So in order to trade on this Binance application, you want to make sure that on the top right hand side, you are on the spot tab and right over here, you can see that it is converting from BTC to USDT and here you can see multiple trade offers right over here. Whenever the upper offer matches the beneath offer, the trade is going to automatically take place between the buyer and the seller. So for example, let's say you want to trade some Bitcoin to some other currency, then you can simply tap on this buy button right over here. At the bottom, you will also be able to see open orders funds and so on here you'll be able to see multiple options right over here and you can also on the top right hand side simply tap on this little pin icon and here it will show you multiple chart of the data or of the trading which is currently taking place on this Binance application don't worry this is actually really simple than you think it is not really hard as it looks in order to trade cryptocurrency on the Binance application so hopefully we have discussed some of the most features which is important on the Binance application which you want to know or need to know before you start trading on Binance or using Binance application. Now we are going to go back to some of the most settings features on the Binance application such as your profile settings and so on. To do that on the top right hand side you want to simply tap on your profile icon again but for the simple purpose I'm going to simply go back to the live version. So let's say I tap on my profile icon and here you can see multiple options. If you have a referral code then you can simply tap on this referral option right over here and enter the referral code and you might get certain percent off whenever you try to buy or trade on crypto or on the Binance application right over here. And if you have a gift card which you want to redeem then you can simply tap on this redeem option or this gift card option at the bottom of the screen you can simply tap on the receive button on the right hand side of the screen once you tap on receive at the bottom you'll be able to find the option called redeem crypto so you can simply tap on redeem crypto and then enter the redeem code which you have received on the gift card the next thing we are going to learn is how you can change your password or your security settings. To do that at the bottom of the screen you will be able to see an option called security. You want to simply tap on security and if you want you can also turn on two factor authentication. In my case I have already turned on email authentication. You can see multiple options such as Binance, Google Authenticator, SMS Authentication, Email Authentication, Security Key Authentication or Biometric Authentication. If you want to change your password at the bottom of the screen you will be able to find an option called change password. So you you can simply go ahead and tap on change password now you want to enter your old password right over here and then enter the new password which you want to type in in the next box and then go ahead and type in the new password again once you do that you can go ahead and tap on the submit button at the bottom of the screen and you will have successfully changed the password on the Binance cryptocurrency application if you want to use a face ID using your face ID to unlock the application if you're on your iOS or any other phone which supports face ID then you can simply unlock this feature right over here 
And if you want to discontinue using Binance application, then at the bottom of the screen, you will be able to find an option called Disable Account. You want to simply tap on Disable Account and follow all of the instructions accordingly right over here. If you fail to reactivate your account, please contact customer service and so on. You can simply tap on Disable Account and here it will approximately take 120 minutes to reactivate your account once you disable it. So go ahead and tap on OK if you want to disable your account. So in this way, hopefully we have discussed some of the most important features which you can use before you start trading or using the Binance cryptocurrency application. We hope that this guide video was really helpful to you and if it did help you, then do make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any more questions or queries regarding this, then also make sure to leave them down under the comment section below. As always, thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in our next video.